I've got two windows open right now. One is the teacher YouTube class and the other one is the student perspective of the YouTube class. And I wanted to share with you another way to get people to answer worksheets interactively. And a really good tool to use is called Google Jamboard. Now in a previous video, I'll link it up here, I said that Google Classroom and Google Drawing was a great match. This is a great match if you're wanting to draw, actually draw. I'll go ahead and show what Google Jamboard looks like. So it looks pretty simple. You have this toolbar right here on the left side of your screen. And the first thing you need to do is upload the worksheet. So I've already done that. You might have to take a snapshot of the worksheet or if it transfers a PDF file. I already have a worksheet available that's on my desktop. Now all you have to do if you're going to assign this to everybody is size the worksheet up. On the teacher side, again this is the teacher side, you can click on the pen and you can determine how uh, what you want to use to answer. So you can do pen, hi marker, highlighter, and brush. I like the marker. And you can change it to these six colors. Actually, yeah, six colors. So what I like about this is if you had a worksheet that involved drawing, well, this one you can draw in. So it's a free draw. Um, tool that you can use and you can erase it just as easy if you need to write anything down you can so I can go three 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 so this would be twelve nine so you can write those down fairly easy. I've had a couple of students already using this tool, this program to answer on the worksheets. So I think that would be useful. And the way to assign it again, here's the teacher Google Classroom, and I'm going to create an assignment. And the reason why I'm doing an assignment is so that I can make a copy for each student. And I'll say area and perimeter worksheet and then I'm going to find it and then right here on this option it says students can view file I am going to change that to make a copy for each student and then I'm going to ungrade that and I'm going to put this in paper assignments and assign so I'm going to go over here to this window because this is my student mode right here. And I'm gonna hit refresh. And there's a new assignment for my teacher. I'm gonna click on it. So I've got a new assignment for my teacher and I'm going to click on it. And you can see that the student can see that the teacher already did a sample if that's what you left it as. Uh, and now the student can do the rest of the worksheet. And maybe I wanna do it a different color. And I can do four, two, four, two. So this is 12, and this is eight. So pretty easy, and once they're done, they don't have to do anything. Your student can just leave it there. They can even hit the X button and just hit turn in when they're done. And then here on the teacher mode, if I look at paper assignments, I see that there's one turned in. I can click on it and I can take a look and see what my student did. Now I can return it. I can return it, return multiple submissions, return this submission. Um, I can write little comments. 
And yeah, I feel like this will be a great tool for my students to use and for me to be able to communicate and give feedback to them. And I, I think this could be a little bit more user-friendly than Google Drawing. So I hope this helps. All right, see you next time.